Dancing with the Stars returned for its 31st season last night, now streaming on Disney+. Plus. It's so good. Now, <laughs> last night began with 16 teams, but ended with an elimination, as they do for one of them. George Pinocchio reports from the ballroom. America voted Real Housewife of New Jersey, Teresa Judice and actor Jason Lewis into the bottom two. The judges took it from there, saying goodbye to the Sex and the City star. I really am sad that I have to go home simply because I was really enjoying it and all the people that are here. This is a troop. This is a family. It's, it's a wonderful production. TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio topped the judges' leaderboard with all eights. Everything just went way better than I thought it would today, so I'm very... Please. Wayne Brady was happy to dance his way into second place, but very humble about it. It takes a lifetime to do what this woman does, what all these pros do. So you're not going to waltz in here and go, hey, guess what, guys? I'm an expert at salsa and tango and foxtrot. No. Then a three-way tie for third with Bachelorette Gabby Windy. I think we have like the mindset and the grit and determination. Drag queen Shangela. Just show up and be your most truest, authentic self. And Selma Blair, the first star with MS to tackle this challenge. I was really proud of my mom because she she's usually in bed resting most of the time. <laughs> and it's true. I've been I've been in bed for like five years. Part of the fun for the stars, working with pros they like. If I could get Louie, that would be really a wonderful thing. And I got Louie, so here I am. This is my joy. You guys don't understand. She, she'll she say she's tough. She'll say, oh, Sam, I'm so, and she is tough. Do you remember tough. yesterday's rehearsal? I know. I was I was about ready to cry. Jersey Shore's Vinny Guadagnino isn't crying over landing in last place with the judges. He's looking up. This makes us the underdog. It's going to light a fire inside of us, and I'm going to keep bringing it every week. Fifteen couples return to the dance floor next week to shake things up with a night inspired by the music of Elvis Presley. In Los Angeles, George Pinocchio for ABC News.